Hey guys, so I'm here again with Robert from Swamp Creek Cabin and today we're going to talk about an extremely cost-effective way to mill your own lumber. You've seen some videos with me with an actual sawmill, a personal sawmill, and then a, a commercial sawmill. This is the step down, but definitely the most budget-friendly yes, way to do it. Absolutely. So, so what we have here is from a company called Granberg and it's the Alaskan Chainsaw Mill. I think it's MK3 is the model. This is uh, 36 inch um, and it's roughly about, I think I paid about $200 for it. And so what it allows you to do is to slab up timbers uh, by hand with a chainsaw. It's certainly nowhere near as fast as a chainsaw mill, but on a budget, if you want to mill up some of your own lumber, some of your own beams, um, it's certainly doable. If you got the time and a chainsaw, then this might be a, a good way to go if you're on a budget. One of the biggest advantages to this is you can mill lumber right where it lays. So if you're in a remote location, you don't have to cut uh, and haul uh, the timber back to your mill. You can just slab it, cut it right where it lays, which is awesome. Um, and so for example, this is very popular in Alaska where you gotta pack everything in and uh, you need a way to mill lumber, but uh, you don't wanna pack in a sawmill. Yeah. So, um, it's great for that. The Forest Service uses these a lot um, as well. Uh, when they're building uh, different trails and stuff and bridges out in remote locations. Really? Uh, I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, they're, they're a fantastic tool, great tool. Like I say, they're much slower than a traditional sawmill, but great uh, means of getting you custom milled lumber on a budget. And what kind of projects? I know that you have your entryway that you're mm -hmm. planning on putting some square timbers on. Yeah, we're going to be doing a little timber framing, um, uh, like an entryway porch uh, for the cabin. And so I just milled up some six by six um, beams for that, two beams, and then a, a, a piece for the top. We're gonna do a timber, timber frame style uh, there. Um, I probably will end up milling up some lumber for the floor um, of the cabin is when we get to that point, uh, just because I have the resources here. And even though it's time consuming, the offset of my time versus the money spent on flooring, um, we'll probably make that Right. cost effective for us right so we have i have some videos of josh from essential mountain homestead where we're using his wood miser sawmill and i think he said it was somewhere between five and th six thousand dollars for that mill and it's an amazing machine but for and he got a really good deal on that by the and way and he got a good deal <laughs> on it a really good deal on it and he has a skid loader and a mini excavator and a way to move all of these timbers to the sawmill. And so for a $200 investment that allows you to not have to have other heavy equipment, yeah. that's amazing. Absolutely. And not to say that I'm not in the future looking to getting a mill, but for the time being, the money that it would cost versus what I have projects lined up for it, right. I think it's going to be money ahead to just use this for what we have for right. now. Well, and most of the people I've, that I've talked to who have sawmills, they're actually usually using it on a small business scale. Mm -hmm. Like Josh is a contractor, um, and the, we had another guy who came out and, and uh, is local to Josh's area, and he actually mills and, and has his own wood lot, like a couple hundred acres of wood that, that they have access to, and then he actually mills his own wood and then sells it to people as a side business. Mm -hmm. And so in that application, that totally makes yeah. sense. But for a little homesteader that's just trying to put some flooring in his cabin. Yeah. And if I was building the house from scratch, um, I would totally go out and, and purchase yeah. a sawmill because the cost savings, I mean, are huge if you have the resources on your property uh, to mill your own. Yeah. So, but where we're remodeling and we're only going to need uh, a small amount of wood to be milled, um, th this makes more sense for us right now. And it's so cool. Okay. When we build the shop, and I need a whole bunch of them for that, I might go buy a sawmill. Right. <laughs> but I love this thing. It it is very robust, very durable, um, easy to use, sim simple. I mean, you don't have to really. The, the hardest part is, is assembling it. Right. And you know, and uh, after that, it's it's pretty simple to use. And ready to go. Yep. All right. It's a well, great product. I'm excited to see how you use it. Thank you.